and Mary R and Thelma, Diane, and Alice. Hi, Alice. Hi, Brenda. Diane McIntyre. I think I said hi, but I'll say it again. And I think I got everybody. If I missed you, please know it's not. Oh, there's Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Roberta. So, yeah, if I missed anybody, please forgive me. But uh, it's good to see everybody out there today. I have lots and lots of new things. The girls have been so busy. So um, let's start with Ribbon because Ribbon is taking over my desk and our warehouse, actually, because we have such a beautiful and enormous selection for you. Let's just start with the one closest to me, which is organza. We have restocked 50 yard spools of organza. And one thing you guys should probably know about these, I've realized that this is true both of American brands, Chinese brands and other, is that when they say 50 yards, don't be surprised if it's 48 or 52, you know, <laughs> more often they're short than they are long, but please know that these spools, while they say 50 or they say 25, they're gonna be approximations, guys. I know that so clearly because I, um, I, because when we're cutting ribbon for the kits, we often find we have to go get another roll because we're a yard short on something. Diane, do me a favor and, um, resubmit that email to me. I'm trying to learn Outlook and I saw your email. I tried to open it. It disappeared. It's not in my deleted file. It's not in my current file. I can't find it anywhere. So it said that you, there was something missing from your order in the headline, but I didn't get to see where what it was before the message disappeared. So will you please do me the favor of emailing me again at info at Simply Special Crafts. I really look forward to it. And I'll get whatever the issue is resolved for you immediately. But that's why I haven't been back in touch. Okay, let's take a look at some colors. We have uh, navy blue. And now this is half inch organza on a 50 yard roll. We have gold, we have orange, we have fuchsia, we have white. We have this beautiful, that red is gorgeous, beautiful red. It looks more orange on camera. It's actually quite red. Um, royal blue, you can see that vividly. That royal blue is stunning. Hi, Patricia. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have old gold. We have olive. We have royal purple, which is just a magnificent violet. It looks really dark on camera, but it's beautiful. We have Kelly green, we have brown, we have dark green, all back in in a uh, half inch organza. We have, these are two fifths, and we have all the following colors back in in our um, uh, single-sided satin ribbon. These are 25 year yard bolts and we have taupe suede, we have spearmint, we have red, we have grass green, we have pink, we have moss green. That's beautiful. That's almost like an evergreen. It's not really mossy at all. I would call that evergreen, but it's called moss the color. Soft yellow, we have baby maize, we have peony, we have hyacinth purple, which is a favorite of mine. Look at that color. Isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous. We have silver and two fifths. We have more. <laughs> we have wine. We have, we go through so much ribbon around here. Royal blue and the two fifths also. Gorgeous. We have teal. Gorgeous. <laughs> I love these two together. This light blue and teal. Aren't those beautiful together? light blue, we have orange, and we have raspberry rose, all in two-fifths single-sided satin. And then we also have this wonderful glittered ribbon. 
Um, this is called a glitter ribbon, but you know, it actually does not have glitter that comes off and it just gives a really glittery finish. It's almost, almost organza style, but it's got a real glittery finish to it. And it has little crinkle marks in it, like it was grow grain ribbon, but it's, it's beautiful. And it's actually fairly easy to tie. These are all five eighths and we have hyacinth, old gold. Hi, Glenn. Nice of you to drop in. We have silver. We have orange, which the orange is really kind of a nice coppery color. We have glitter green. We have lemon, lime. We have glitter pink and glitter blue. And I want you to notice the colors in these because the glitter changes the color a bit from what you would expect it to be but they're all beautiful when they're tied. I think you can see some bow samples on our website. Hello, Betty McSorley. Good to see you, friend. These are really, really pretty. And it really is easy to make beautiful bows with this ribbon. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we can see what we're doing here. I have new peel stickers. I'm excited about these. Let's look at these. This is, I'm going to come right up to the camera with these so you can hopefully see them. Is that a good shot? Huh? Looks like it is. Look at these beautiful corners, guys. These are beautiful. Now, what I want you to notice on this sticker sheet is look at this piece right here between my fingers. Look at the beautiful embellishment you can make by pulling four of those corners together. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Corners are not just corners. They can be used for so many things, but look at that pretty embellishment right there. See it, the four corners coming together with the points of the corners together. You can make a beautiful embellishment with that. And this sheet actually has two styles of corners on it. I also wanted you to notice that. See, we've got this big ruffly corner, and then we've got a, a different kind of, um, just almost an outline corner there too. See that? See the big roughly corner and then the really slight corner that has kind of the diamondy pattern in it. Those are beautiful. We have that in silver and we have that in gold. <coughs> I'm gonna give you a number, maybe. Maybe I won't, yeah, I will give you a number. These are from UU, that's spelled J-E-J-E. -J -E, and this is sticker number one, four, I believe that's a five, one, four, five. It's either one, four, five or one, four, six. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? Is that a one, four, six or one, four, five? The blind asking the blind here. Is that a one, four, six? One, four, five. It's kind of closed in, isn't it? It's a little bit difficult to see. Okay, these are also from UU. J-E-J-E, -J -E, and this is 559. This is really big, beautiful corners. See those big corners? And there's actually two sizes on there. See that? The ones above the lines are a little bit smaller. And then you got the jumbo corners on the sides. And then it's got wavy lines and straight lines. Gorgeous corner border sheet. And we have that in both gold and silver. This one is not unusual. We've had this one before under other brands. This is JEJE -E 406. And these are those little mini pearl borders. You can't see it. That mini pearl is and wears a flag on her hat or a price tag on her hat. These are little tiny bumpy borders. They're little bitty things and they're beautiful. And you get just an immense number of them on a sheet. Maybe you can see it easier in the silver, the individual lines, but these are little tiny thin borders in little um, like ball chain, except it's really, really tiny. And that is number JEJE406. -E Both colors, by the way, have the same numbers in this brand. So you'll have uh, 406 gold and 406 silver listed. 
we got new happy birthdays. These are really happy looking. Can you see those? See the happy birthdays, kind of a wavy design with the little heart balloons above it. I think those are cute. We only have that in silver, it looks like. That one's number 292. And then we have this one, which is number um, JEJE08, -E it looks like. And this one's Get Well Soon. And it's got a little rose and a little flower accents on it, too. And then we have this one is Thinking of You. We have this in gold and silver. And this is JEJE05. -E and here's Thinking of You, little flower embellishments and hearts to use as well. Okay, and then we've got J-E-J-E -J -E with Sympathy. These appear to be number um, 292. Nope, 295. This one's, this one I think is 295. This is with Sympathy in gold. Nice script font there, though, pretty, with a single rose embellishment. Ah, here's the happy birthday in, in the gold. This one's um, got the little hearts on it. I said those were balloons earlier. They're not. In fact, they're actually not attached. It just has all kinds of little hearts. But those little hearts can be used both as an outline, and then you can use the middle of the heart as a separate heart also. So we have that one. So we had that in the gold and the silver. This one's number 292. And we have this happy birthday. This one I think is similar to one we had before. This is JEJE110, -E -E <laughs> well, different numbering convention there. Well, we've got the little party hats and the balloons in the center and the happy birthdays. And this one is happy anniversary. And this one's JEJE -E -E 30. And we've got a happy birthday with a simple little flower, but lots of happy birthday sentiments on a sheet. And we've got this one, which is all different kinds of ways of saying thank you. It's got thank you, thank you very much, thank you so much, thank you, uh, thanks a lot. In all different sizes and fonts, this is really kind of cool. And this one is JEJE480. -E we have it both in gold and in silver. Now, sometimes people ask me, about the stickers online. A lot of times we have black and white line drawings and you say, well, can't you show them in color? Well, one of the reasons the manufacturer, I use the manufacturer photos. And one of the reasons why the manufacturers choose to do them in line drawings is that because these are so highly reflective, they don't photograph well in a full sheet. So you just have to look at the title to figure out whether you're getting gold or silver, black or white, what color it's going to be. Hi, Sharma. So we are all those new peel stickers, which you know I love and I use a lot of. Okay. I did not get silver Hanukkah. Um, I will take a look and see if any of our regular distributors have Hanukkah. If they would had. I think I would have picked them up because I watch for Hanukkah stuff and there just isn't a lot on the market, unfortunately. I get what I can, though. Teresa asks, how many birthday sentiments per package? Uh, I just buried it, Patrice, but let me see. Um, let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 
22 in that pack. So I would say 20-ish roundabout in the different sentiments, depending on the size, of course. The bigger ones are going to have less per package. Okay, we have a new collection today from Find It Trading. And let me see if I can get just this collection to start. We'll try and kind of keep these together a little bit because I also reordered some. Let me see if I can get all the history of Christmas together. History, Christmas, history, 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 history. History, 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 different card deco, card deco, history of Christmas. Here we go. All right. There we go. Okay, this is all the history of Christmas. Let's start by taking a look at the paper pack. That tends to be a nice introduction to them. All right, these are pretty. I know that I haven't seen them in person yet, though. Can you come in a little bit, huh? Now, as usual, these are double-sided sheets. There we go. Perfect. Good shot. So this one's kind of a textured, you know, almost a linen kind of texture. Lighter and darker spaces. The back side is a polka dotted green. So we get a few of these as usual. That's a nice versatile background. Look at the brick. That's fun and kind of that greenish tone. And then we have the brick and gray. That's a nice, beautiful and universal background. Here we've got kind of a, a floral vine. And on the back we have the same pattern and kind of a, what would you call that? Kind of a, a tannish yellow sort of color with gray. That's Kind of, is it? It is cool. It's a neat color. It's chocolate. Okay. You think it's white and milk chocolate? <laughs> Bryce is white and milk chocolate on that one. Here's pretty little birds on blue. Here's the same little birds on green. Hi, Annette. Oh, okay, we've got this kind of um, distressed diagonal stripe. It's beautiful and kind of a rosy brown tone. And then on the back of that, we have this Christmas scene, which is pretty cool. Okay. All right, and here's a beautiful candle lit scene. All those little candles side by side. That's gorgeous. Same one in kind of a, a buff tone. Those are pretty. This is just such a universal pack. It's neat. Here's a snow scene, snow in the air, and a light base. Here's a little country village. There's mountains up behind it and snow on the ground. That's pretty. And kind of a framed background with some stars. And here's cutout embellishments that you can use on your cards, tags. And that's it for that pack. That is the History of Christmas paper pack right there from Amy Design. So let's see what else is in the History of Christmas. We've got this beautiful window scene. I love this. Look, the window is clearly looking out. So this is inside your house looking out. You've got the draperies, the drapery rod, the valance. Then you've got the trees, the snow, the window panes, the window sill that's really cool that's beautiful so that's all cutting dies you get one two three four five six six cutting dies in that and 
I don't know the price right off the top of my head, but most Amy Design dies are less than $10, so it's going to be in that general price range. Here's a history of Christmas paper, um, A5, um, or A5 um, paper pack, which means that one sheet is equal to two of our European A6 cards. And there's the colors in the pack. I love this one. Look at this poinsettia wreath. Now, if I were you, I would either cut this in gold or green, then I'd cut it again in red and clip off those blossoms and attach it to the first one. Wouldn't that be pretty? Gorgeous. And those little poinsettia blossoms will clip off really easily. See that? All right. Here's a beautiful little embossing folder border of standing and leaping reindeer little hearts that's cute it's going to make a border that's about looks to be the border itself will be an inch to an inch and a quarter wide look at this one i love this one too i love that now this would be a really nice one see how we've got the bigger ring and the smaller ring it'd be beautiful to take the bigger ring cut an aperture from your card in other words, we cut a hole in a place we plan, we cut an aperture, and then use the smaller die and put it inside the card. Maybe put a piece of snowfall acetate between the two. Wouldn't that be neat? You'd have a beautiful scene just that easily. Use decorative paper on the outside of your card. You got it. Stunning card made just that easily. And this one's pretty. I love these designs. This is called a lacy Christmas oval. You've got the beautiful frame and then you've got another decorative piece. It's got a nice big opening there. You could use a photo inside. You can use embellishments inside. Yes, you could make a shaker card. Beautiful. That other one would make a good shaker card too, Sharma. Excellent idea, friend. Beautiful. And these borders are gorgeous. These guys just keep coming up with really beautiful things. Now notice on the border dies, see how we have that wider strip that doesn't have a cutting edge? That means these are aperture dies. They will cut into your paper, but they'll only cut along this edge. They will not cut the paper, the card side. So what you can do with these is create beautiful edges on your um, on your on the face of your card, on your envelope flaps, on uh, your gatefold edges. Beautiful. And here's another one. And this is called Lacy Christmas Tree. But you'll notice again, this is a this is a die. You could easily cut it off if you wanted to cut off, but see that it only has one cutting edge. The other one is um, it stays attached to your paper unless you cut it off. That's really a lacy, beautiful tree. Very detailed. <clears throat> All right. Here is a Pretty Christmas Lantern. Yeah, this would look beautiful on that brick sheet. Look at that. Pretty, pretty. And look at these stamps. This is all for the history of Christmas. We've got all kinds of designs here. We've got that little brick pattern. We've got a lantern. We've got the fireplace with the stockings, little gifts um holly and berries and a pine cone we've got candles we've got bells more candles candles mistletoe don't want to miss that at christmas time here's our <laughs> another little candle you can put these candles inside these lanterns guys remember our masking technique you could put the candle right inside the lantern you'd stamp the outside first mask it and then stamp the inside You've got the 
other pretty little candle. You've got the bells up here, larger bells. We had little ones down here and more presents. Look at all those beautiful stamps. Okay, then we've got our push out designs for the history of Christmas. And we've got all kinds of fun things going on here. We got the bird sitting on the lantern with the candle in it. We've got a lighted lantern over here. And then this one, we have the lantern and the toy soldier at the bottom. Three images on these for what's our price? About $1.49, I think. Here's the kitten in the windowsill. <laughs> and then we've got the birds in the window and the birds with the lantern in the window on the other side there. Here's that beautiful Christmas tree and that winter scene. Here we've got the full living room and we've got the, ch the, um, the chair in front of the fireplace with the, with the Christmas tree. And at the bottom here, we have a Christmas tree surrounded by gifts and a rocking horse. That's really a cute one. Here we have candle designs. We've got kind of a little topiary on this side. <laughs> We've got a candle and an arrangement on the other side. And then here we have another candle arrangement. Yes, these are all pop-outs, Roberta. Three push-out designs is what they call them there. And then we have a creative embroidery book that is the same patterns that we've just seen in those. Let's take a look. They have the embroidery patterns and then they already have a pre-printed image. Can you back up a little one? This is too big, there we go. Um, they've got the pre-printed pattern and then they have the, the layering pieces. These are cutouts on this one but um, fussy cut designs to layer up on your pattern sheet. One-sided, so you could just clip these out and actually use them. You don't have to copy them or anything. The kitten in the windowsill, the candle design with a beautiful embroidery design around that. We've got the birds. I love these blue birds in front of the house. That's beautiful. And the little the Christmas tree in front of the window. That's pretty. And we've got that candle floral arrangement here. Get my finger out of it. And down here we've got the Netherlands windmills. But this is what I gave Margie for her birthday. She had a birthday here recently and I gave her a set of, she likes to go camping in their travel trailer. And I gave her a folder for her uh, um, a travel case for all of her embroidery threads. And um, then a, a bunch of the um, spools of embroidery thread. And the case is actually large. I can special order them for anybody who wants them, but um, the case is actually lar as large as this pack. So if she, it, it would be a really, really easy gift or a really easy thing for her to take when she travels just to grab this little case and it would be all inclusive with everything she needs. How do I get the pattern on my card? You actually, on these, Sharma, you actually cut this out. You'll pierce it with your needle and you work right on here. And then you attach the the embroidered image to your card. That's how you do those. And if you wanted two of the same pattern, <laughs> I always think of this because I'm always thinking of ways to get the most for my money. I would consider cutting this out, piercing it over my mat, but I'd put a piece of cardstock behind it. So when I pierce one, I pierce the cardstock at the same time, then I'd get myself a sheet of push out images and I'd make two cards for every one in this book. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> okay. So that is our new Christmas collection called The History of Christmas by Amy Design. 
beautiful. Of course, it will be linked in tonight's newsletter. Let me put this one away. All right. We have a new Sparkles book. And this one has all the sheets inside it. So you get the patterns and you get the sheets all right inside. This has in it eight sheets of sparkle stickers, six sheets of cardstock, two push out sheets, and six layered cards, all in this one kit. And this is called SPDDA6003. And it's the Sparkles Book 3. This would be a beautiful gift kit here. If you wanted to give a gift to somebody who enjoys that, you know, I'm going to call it fussy work. You know, the close-up work, because these little sparkles require a lot of close-up work. If you know somebody who enjoys that kind of work, what a beautiful gift this would be to give somebody one of these and a pair, maybe a pair of our little snips, either these little snips that I included in the kit for this weekend, or one of these hobby design scissors, and a, maybe a pair of tweezers, and you'd have kind of an all-inclusive gift. In fact, throw in a, a sheet of foam squares and some tape, and you would be, you know, that's a, that's a gorgeous gift right there, because you got it all together, or for you yourself, you know, if you like these these sparklies, these are these are really fun where everything's included together. So we got sparkles book three. And the sparkles are the ones, remember, that have the um that are in the little squares. Now, this is the other kind. These are the dot and do's, and these are the ones that have the shapes on the stickers. So these are kind of mirror colored, you know, nice shiny stickers. And once again, in this book 10, the Dot and Do book 10, the stickers are included in this one. So in this one, you get eight sheets of Hobby Dot stickers, six sheets of cardstock, two push out sheets, and six layered cards, all in this nice self-contained book. And once again, whether it's for you or for a friend, you add in some little detail scissors. Uh, th these do have push outs, so you might not need the detail scissors with this one. Um, you would need um, some adhesive of some sort, some foam squares, and you would be set and ready to go. I don't think these come with envelopes. This does not come with envelopes. So you'd have to look at the size of the cards. I suspect based on looking at it that those are European A6. So you might want some envelopes, but how cool is that? Yes, tweezers really are a must, and bifocals are a must for Marberta. Yeah, I don't know what I'd do without my trifocals. <laughs> but these, you know, throw in some of these tweezers with the really nice end on them, and you are set and ready to go. So again. You know, as we're starting to travel a little bit and get out of our houses more, think about things that transport easily. This is a great thing to take with you when you're on the road. Okay, we have some new deco frames. I love these. I'm so excited about these. Now, these deco frames, this cuts out your whole card base front in fact let me hold it this way because this is our card front this is our card back we run this now you do have to have a you do have to have um a machine that's wide enough to take that where's my ruler again i've lost my ruler again guys so i'm going to use the pad itself as a measure your machine has to have an opening that's at least six inches wide. So whether you can use these depends on whether your die cutter has an opening that's six inches wide, but you run this through on top of a piece of cardstock and you get a pre-cut frame with that beautiful butterfly design around the outside. And then if you notice those butterflies, 
those butterflies are going to be usable as cutouts also. They're going to be in your remnants. Those are really cute little butterflies. And you can kind of see from the picture there what your finished frame will look like. Isn't that fun? <clears throat> Here's another one. Same, same. Your machine is going to have to be have an opening that's six inches wide. So check that before you buy this. And here's our card front with the snowflake pattern. Here's the card back. You get that nice lacy edge. There's the picture of the card. And I believe, yes, they are. All those snowflakes are going to be usable. So you could actually use the snowflakes on the design you put in the, yeah, they'd be great confetti. They'd also be great glue downs onto your images because you can never have too many snowflakes when you're making Christmas cards. Here's a new just kind of decal edge one. These are all making European A6 cards. And of course, we have those envelopes available for you too. So this is just making a decal edge along the edge. How long are they, Roberta? These are going to make a European A6 card, the same size we use for our hunky dory cards. Um, how long they, I guess what maybe what you're asking is about the length of the die. They'll fit a standard cutting pad that I'm sure of. They're seven inches long, about five and three quarters inches wide. So the biggest question is, do you have a machine with a six inch opening? If you got a machine with a six inch opening, these are going to be good. Now this is going to make a square frame card. This is going to make a, turn my ruler around the right way. This is going to make a five and a quarter by five and a quarter inch finish card. And here's the back of my card here. Here, this is going to fold over and we're going to have this beautiful snowflake pattern. Let me see if I can get it in front of the camera. Beautiful snowflake pattern once again. These are the, the cutouts are all in full pieces, so you can use those snowflakes as well. This middle section is not cut out. So what you're going to end up with is a border on your card that looks just like this and all that usable space in the middle. You'll have to yeah, you'll have to measure your Jane Davenport machine because I'm not familiar with the size of your platform. But as long as it has, a, has an opening that's at least six inches wide, you're in good shape. Um, like those, um, my hand machine that I've used for years and you've seen me use so many times on camera, my um, Cut and Go Pro, that has a six inch platform. So a lot of machines have a six inch platform, but not all. So check those before you buy it. Okay, these I think are really fun. These are Christmas phrases. They're larger Christmas phrases. This is from XCut. It's a division of um, Anita's. And these are larger Christmas phrases, but I think they're really fun. Look at the phrases you get there. You get joyful holidays, Ho, 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 let it snow, jingle bells. Um, so let's say joyful and triumphant. That's neat. I hadn't noticed that one before. And Christmas kisses, all in larger. Yeah, thank you, Bryce. All in larger images that you can use as a focal on your card. So imagine, you know, all of these, any of these would fit in these really fun frames. So you can do some fun things just combining these dies to create really neat images. How about the let it snow inside the snowflake frame? Put a little piece of, of paper in the back, you know, maybe some blue with white and put the let it snow in silver on this white card that'd be really cute wouldn't it be beautiful there are some that are pretty cut out of oh it sure would <laughs> it sure would 
Well, you guys know how I feel about deer. So when I saw these deer in the forest, this isn't necessarily a this isn't necessarily a, a Christmas die. It certainly could be, but that's really an anytime die right there. Isn't that beautiful? I loved it. So of course I had to buy it. How would that be on like a, a really nice masculine card? Put some plaid behind that or make that a a forest scene card. That's beautiful. It's a good size die. This one is, does it give me dimensions? It does not, but I have my trusty non-ruler here. My mat says that this is four and a half by... It's basically four and a half by four and a half. So it's a good size die. You'd probably want a five by seven card or even like a six by six would be perfect. Okay, this is one we just missed getting into the mix last week. So I thought I'd show it to you. I'm going to leave the butterfly dreams up one more week because I missed this one. This is the butterfly dreams border stamp. Now, last week I showed you the die. This is the stamp that goes with that. You can, this is the vertical butterflies. And then we've got the same, and the, then the vertical butterflies have those curly cues around them. That's kind of on that scroll work background. And then you've got the horizontal treatment where you've got the butterflies on that wave kind of pattern background. And here's a close-up of just the dies. Wayne asks, what is the best die in an embossing machine? Boy, Pauline, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I can tell you that my current machine, it, it depends on, it, you know, it depends on your price range, first of all. Um, it depends on whether you want a powered or a manual machine. The two main machines I sell here in the shop are, I have the Cut and Go Pro machine that's actually um, by Couture Creations. And that's a manual machine. It um, I have a special on that one for $120 and you get an extra set of plates in that one. But the one that I'm using today, and I don't know if there's any way we can show it. The one that I'm using today is the Couture Creations. It's the, ah, nope, I can't pick that up. And, and show it. You might be able to turn the camera around to, to see it. Can you do that without messing you up? Can you come over here? You're gonna, guys are gonna see my mess. There we go. There we go. Right there. This is the. This is. This is my new love, Pauline. This is my Couture Creations Go Power and Emboss Machine. It is by Couture Creations. It has a platform wide enough to take an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So it will take any piece of paper I want to put through it. And the real claim to fame with the Couture Creations Cut and Go Pro is it will use any die on the market. Clear back to my um, Sizzix Red machine. And remember those half inch thick dies we used with that? I can use those in here. I can use thinlets dies. I can use those sizzlets dies that were the quarter inch thick ones. I can use thin dies. I can use um, some of the dies that they originally made that were like in the in the school workrooms that are those um, wood in the back and and a cutting surface on the front dies. I can use any die made in that machine. So and I can tell you, I'm totally loving it, totally loving it. And um, one of the things I really, really love about it is I've made hundreds and hundreds of cuts with this machine now, and I'm nowhere near having to replace a plate. The plates don't warp, <laughs> so I'm loving that. So that's my go-to machine now. There's lots of good machines on the market. If you decide that you want to look at this one, I'd be happy to quote you a price on this one delivered to you. Just email me at info at simplyspecialcrafts.com and I can tell you what the price would be to deliver that machine to you. Um, 
I, I need to look it up, Diane, because I'm not sure the price of it right off the top of my head. But if you email me, I will send you a um, quote. I will send you a quote. Anybody who wants to know what the price would be, yes, it takes it takes standard replacement plates. Anybody who wants to get a quote on that machine, just email me at info at Simply Special Crafts. And one of my manufacturers is offering a special where I can take the order and they'll ship it to you directly. So it never comes through me. It comes directly from the manufacturer, from the distributor to you. And um, one reason I'm doing that is because it's an extremely heavy machine, but it's a flat rate shipping cost. And it's a, a, a very reasonable flat rate shipping cost. So I can do it affordably that way. Otherwise, I wouldn't carry the machine at all. But that's my fave right now. <laughs> I have, I can tell you that I have um, at least six different brands of machines. And this is the best one I've ever had. So there we go. All right, let's go back to our cutting dies. Um, that was our heartfelt die. I wanted to show you that. I'm going to leave that Brits bargain up, but I'm going to add another Brits bargain this week. It's not in the system yet, but it's coming. Here's the Brits bargain for this week. I believe that our um, I believe that our Craftaganza um, palettes are going to be here within the coming week. They're caught up in customs right now and i still have a lot of prior year christmas on the shelf so i'm going to offer some unbelievably great deals on prior year hunky dory um watch brit's bargain to see what i do with um some of the prior year christmas in our brit's bargain for the coming week it's going to be pretty stunning what i come up with so watch for that over the next 24 hours. It's going to take me a little while to put those in. Um, your materials, Mary R., are here. Brittany will be here tomorrow. She'll get them in the system, and we'll have those available for you. I will email you as soon as I know they're in. But they're here. I saw them in a box last night, and Brittany will get them put up for you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, here are some of my favorite dies that are back in. Can you come in a little closer again so I can show them these? These are some of my favorites. These are not current ear dies. These are some I bring back year after year because they're just beautiful. This is our traditional bell Christmas treatment. It's so very, very pretty. And this one is done by Yvonne Creations. But I love that traditional Christmas. If you're looking for it in the system, this one is called the Bell Corner by Yvonne Creations. And I was going to give you a number. Oh, I can. Let's see. Let's see if my eyes are that good. It is YCD10052. If you're looking for that bell, it's beautiful uh here i love these snowy trees i absolutely adore these snowy trees and i use these year after year and i keep buying them in because they're absolutely beautiful think of these on your winter theme cards one year i put snowy trees on all of my winter theme cards for that year that was kind of like my trademark <laughs> for that year i put beautiful little snowy trees on everything this one is YCD005, oh, excuse me, YCD10053, the snowy trees. And look at this lace panel, same, same collection. This is the traditional Christmas by Yvonne Creations. Look at that, that holiday lace. Oh my goodness so pretty that lacy design and this cuts so well and this is ycd 10059 now what would you expect to pay for this from tattered lace 40 dollars thereabouts how about less than 16 dollars 
from Yvonne Creations for this die. Gorgeous. Here's another one from the same collection. This one works so beautifully uh, alongside tall, narrow toppers. And we know we always get some of those in our topper collections at Christmas time. This works so well. We've got that beautiful lacy bow at the top of the ornaments hanging down. This one is called Christmas Decoration. <laughs> and it is YCD 10054. This collection is the traditional Christmas by Yvonne Creations. Like I said, I bring it back over and over again because it's just beautiful. The size of this die is four and three, no, five. It's right, it's just a smidge, maybe an eighth under five by five. Just a smidge under five by five. Absolutely a gorgeous die. And yes, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> you found it already, Mary. I knew you were going to like that one. I haven't even shown that one yet. I knew you were going to like that girl hugging the dog. <laughs> I looked at that and thought, this is good. Mary R is going to buy this one. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. And this one. I just, you know how I'm always looking for dies that will fit around those little toppers? I just thought this was cute. And I thought this was a cute size for taking a piece of a picture out of a little book. You know, for cutting a, a frame for a little book page and just getting a smaller piece for a little book. Imagine doing this now. This is, this is kind of silly looking with the imagery they have. But imagine this cut in a pretty wood grain or in a um, in a mirror finish and put that around an image that is going to be a stunning pretty frame and very inexpensive <laughs> which I also love um, Brittany put one of these in here just to remind me to say we sold out of some of our quotes last week um, they're all back. I'm leaving that special in place. Uh, Mary R., let me let me ask, is this the one you wanted here? Let me get the last two and maybe Bryce will look these up for us. Try, let's see. Um, try JDB 1001, I'm going to say. JDB. J B D one zero zero zero. It looks like it might have a one on the end of it. Did you find it, Jabber Joe? Picture frame. They want to know how much that is. You could link it if you would. Six dollars and forty nine cents for this frame, guys. And while we're at it, let's look this one up since I alluded to a price I didn't have readily available. Okay, did you get that one for them? Oh, good. Thank you. And then let's put this one in um, just because I think it's um, YCD 10059. This beautiful lace. This is one of Brittany's favorite dies, by the way. You temptress. <laughs> How much is this one? Bryce is looking this one up for us, guys. I'm putting in, in quotation marks up above, honey, then it'll only give you this one. Remember our, our um, surfing tip when you're looking for a particular number, put an open quotation mark. Then put in your number, in this case, YCD10059, close quotation, and it will only give you items that have that code in that order. $11.99. Okay, you ready, guys? $11.99 for this die right here. $11.99. Can you believe that? 
are find it trading. They're great, spectacular dies, unbelievably good prices. And you know what that tells you? All of the other traditional Christmas dies I showed you are less expensive than this one. Yeah. So you need, if you are familiar with find it trading, check them out because they are amazing. Okay, here's a few dies that came in. Some of them um, recent, some of them we've had around for a while and just got them back in the system. This is a brand new one. Mary already found it. Best friends forever. Little girl hugging her dog. Super duper cute from Tattered Lace. <laughs> I love that. I love the fact that the dog just towers above the little girl. That just touches my heart. <laughs> Okay, this one in the field chrysanthemum with layering pieces and a backer from Tattered Lace, 3D decoupage die. I believe we already had this one, but the one I had was all, was it part of a set. This is now listed individually. If you want it, you can get it without having um, spent quite so much for the single die. I'm loving this thing. Let me tell you why I love, love, love this viola frame. This viola frame has this absolutely stunning filigree lace piece, which is gorgeous. And then just to make that better, they have a backer piece for that, which is gorgeous. And then this can layer up on this one if you want it to. This perfectly matches the center of this die. This has this beautiful filigree lace around the outside. This one fits perfectly on this backer. <laughs> and then you have the ability, if you want to use it, to cut, board, um, to cut borders on your cards. This would cut out a right, one of these would cut a right facing border. The other one would cut a left facing border. I think I just did that backwards, but you know what I mean. You can cut your paper, you can cut, um, let's say I'm wanting to make a, an easel card with a stand-up piece. I can actually tape this at my fold line and make the back of my card stand up with the lower part of my card and put this whole piece on there. Does that make any sense what I'm saying? Instead of, instead of just having my piece hanging up, I actually have my card up behind here. Um, this is just an incredibly, incredibly functional die. Link this one, please, Roberta. Is that what you're saying? Okay, Roberta wants a link to the viola frame, please. This one is number, I'm not sure which number she would have used to list it, but let's try 781633. It's called viola frame. How much is this one? This one's thirty-seven fifty. Tattered lace prices are starting to come down, which is really nice to see. Thirty-seven fifty for this one, and look at all the pieces you get: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces in that set. And there's a link for you. Okay. Oh, and this one was around and didn't get listed. <laughs> Oops, it was our Easter wreath. That'll sit out there till we're ready for it, but it's pretty. Imagine putting a bunny or something in the center of that. That would not be cute, really cute. So we got those. Okay, Margie and I were busy all day yesterday putting together some new kits. This is the same as this, okay? We sold, we only had seven of these last week. We just put together, I'm gonna say about a dozen more of them. You get the, you get the beautiful um, corresponding ribbon. You'll get at least one foiled sheet in this eight piece kit. 
and um, so it will look either like this or like this. You'll get at least one foiled sheet so that when you make your box, you can have these beautiful foiled pieces as a part of your box. So this is the rose quartz. It's back out there, it was sold out, but it's back. Here's that, I haven't mailed it yet, so I'll show you one more time that box I made for Cindy. Absolutely spectacular rose quartz, looks beautiful with copper borders and accents. Absolutely stunning. So, there we go. Rose quartz is back in the kit. We also have a few of the rose quartz books left if you want to put your own kits together. If you already have this ribbon and you want to put your own court, um, um, your own um, explosion board kits together, you can easily do that. Just add some beautiful ribbon to it. Link the copper borders and corners. Yes, I will, Brenda. Um, uh, let me let me do that for you in the newsletter because it's going to be a, a little bit of a search challenge to search out just copper borders and corners and get that listed for you, Brenda, but I'll do it. I thought of you, Mary R., when I put this one together. This is our new Santa Paws, um, our new Santa Paws explosion board kit. Look here. These are the images that you're going to get. Now, understand that on an explosion board, these may or may not, you know, fit your panels, these two. But any of the rest of these can be cut to fit the, the panels, you know, that you have available. Come in so we can look closely at these images, honey, because they're adorable. I want you to be able to see these up close. Look at the kitten in the corner there. We've got puppies. <laughs> We've got Santa boots with the puppy sitting at the base. You got to see this one. Look here. The kitten is sleeping in Santa's beard. We got a puppy getting petted by Santa. We've got a kitten sleeping in the stocking. We've got a puppy under the tree holding a package. Oh my gosh. Look at the, let's see. We've got Santa with the puppy trying to get up. We've got, I do love these sayings. You know, you could always put this on the box lid or inside the box lid too. Have, may your days be furry and bright or Santa paws. We got the puppy in the snow and we've got the kitten playing under the tree. And you know, look at that expression. You know that kitten's up to no good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And I'll show you the papers that go in this. The papers of this style, these are 300 GSM papers. Uh, Margie and I went through my shelves yesterday and pulled out everything that was 300 GSM and we built kits out of it. So here's your papers. They're just kind of subtle. These are from Crafter's Companion. I bought these a few years ago. You cannot get these papers anymore. They've got a beautiful glossy finish. They're 300 GSM papers. This stuff's heavy. It's really heavy paper. You get eight sheets of paper. Um, I believe there were five patterns. So you're not going to get two of everything. You're going to get a collection that will be as diverse as we could make it and still get as many box, card, box kits as we could out of it. So there is Santa Paws. That's this kit. I have six of these. When their six are gone, they're gone. Because I cannot make more of this. I don't have any more of this paper. But we put together as many as we could out of the supplies we had on hand because we know you like them. Okay, next up. Okay, here we go. This one's adorable too. This one is called, um, what is this called? 
Santa's official cookie taste tester. We've got mom and daughter working in the kitchen. We've got Santa baking his in an open oven. We've got baking Christmas cheer. We've got a little bit more vintage image of mom and daughter baking in the kitchen. We've got the family decorating, making and decorating cookies. We've got the Christmas tree. We've got Santa with the cookies. We've got tis the season for baking. That would be Lauren Steam. She loves Christmas baking. She starts planning for her Christmas baking about October and ordering in her supplies and things. There's Santa in the kitchen baking his own cookies. I love the Santa's official cookie taster and little one rolling out the cookie dough and making cookies. <laughs> and okay, let's see. Which one? Oh, I believe that Santa's hmm, she didn't give me the kit. It's on the same papers as the I think this actually I'm not sure what papers this is. I guess I'll have to say trust me on the papers, guys, because I don't remember which papers we put it on, but it looks great. I think it's on the tan papers I just showed you. Okay. Oh, that'd be fun, wouldn't it, Mary? Put some little cookie cutters in the box. <laughs> Here's another one. By the way, our accent images for these are from Authentic. This one is called When Snow Falls, Nature Listens. Love, love, love this one too. And I love the papers we put in this one. So just remember, guys, these are all I have. Look, this one has, this is all reindeer, basically. That's the theme. There's Santa with the reindeer. There's the reindeer with a squirrel, which is too cute. When snow falls, nature listens. We've got Santa and all of his na nature friends. We've got the little Merry Christmas. Now remember, you're not probably going to use 12 images inside any of your boxes. And these, you know, think about these. These can be cut down pretty substantially as necessary in order to fit your tabs, which is why I chose them. Some need to kind of need to be used on bigger tabs, but some could easily be used on smaller tabs. Santa in front of the tree with his little reindeer, the reindeer laying under the tree. Let heaven and nature sing, the snowman. We've got Santa with the reindeer at the barn and the reindeer in front of the tree. And look at these papers. Oh, these are the, these actually, I forgot, these are using the same ones that we used in our, um, in our vintage box because we held them up and we said, these are going to look good. So you're getting two of each, I think, in this. So the same ones that were in the vintage boxes. Very same papers that we used in the vintage box. So there you go. That is when snow falls, nature listens with your authentic paper. And we're putting ribbon in all of these kits. They all have beautiful ribbons in them. In fact, I think most have ribbons for the inside box as well as the outside box. Whatever the description says. Authentic is beautiful. They really do a nice job. <laughs> okay. These, um, when you're looking for these, these might, these are not listed yet. They're waiting for me. <laughs> okay. And this one, wait till you see this one. This is the one that had the papers I was talking about. I lost my mind there for a minute. This is the one that had the papers I was talking about. This one is a more spiritual one. This one has 
holy night. We've got the little the children replicating the the um, nativity. We've got children gathered around the manger, the little angels at the manger. Oh, come, let us adore him. We've got kind of a vintage one here. We've got the shepherd in the field. This one is a more adult version of the nativity. This one has the full nativity. We've got a black Mary and Jesus. We've got the nativity here. We've got riding in on camels, the wise men coming. Light, wait till you see these papers. Wowzer. This is the ribbon we chose for them, that wine again, because it's beautiful. Look at these papers, guys. They're so rich and so beautiful. So very pretty. Sorry about the glare, they're glossy papers. <laughs> Try to get them where I don't blind you. I would call these vintage to traditional Christmas. Even if you love the papers and don't love the backgrounds, this is 300 GSM, or excuse me, the love the papers and don't necessarily love the images. This would be so usable for so many different kinds of Christmas boxes, and it's 300 GSM. So you can really put anything on it. Okay, so we got this beautiful paper pack. And it's nice, heavy paper. Again, I used the very last of my hand putting these kits together. So when they're gone, they're gone. But I just thought, since everybody's all excited about their explosion boards right now, why not just put together everything we can? So we went and dug through my shelves, found everything we could that's going to be 300 GSM. And again, even if you decided to exchange out the images, that's only, you know, $1.50 of the kit cost. You could put in a different set of images if you wanted to. And there we go. We have those. And these will be up. Uh, and these two will be up later tonight. I'm going to be busy because we didn't have time to list all of them. Brittany asked me once again to remind you about Twas the Night Before Christmas Storybook. We still have quite a few of these out there, and they're just beautiful. I mean, they just are. We've got the original Clement Moore poetry. It's a beautifully done book with the original imagery. I, last week's email or earlier in the week, whenever that was, Saturday, I guess, I sent you a link to this book. I put mine together using a Xyron. If you have that available, that's a great tool. But glue works just as well, really. It does. And I was talking with one of our customers about the idea that if you really wanted to make a, fair, a family heirloom out of it before you glue this paper down, and before you create your sandwich, put photos in here of your grandkids with you. Put photos right there. And that would be just taking it over the top in terms of this being a family heirloom. It's chipboard, but it's gorgeous. So think about that. Think about using some family photos in those last on that last page beautiful I think I think this is like seventeen dollars so it's a really good price and beautiful 
and it's fun to do. Now, let's see. Um, I want to show you what we have coming up tomorrow. You haven't seen this yet, and it's tomorrow's class. Can you believe it? A brand new class, and you haven't seen it yet for tomorrow. Wait till you see what I have for you. Here's our first card. In this kit, you're getting this absolutely stunning embossing folder. You also get the cutting die that I've used in the middle. You get the AB gems. You get this background paper. Here's card two for tomorrow. I'm going to show you a new technique that many of you might not have seen using an embossing folder. This is the same embossing folder used in a different way. There's our AB gems really showing off those snowflakes. That absolutely stunningly pretty Merry Christmas paper. Of course, your mirror board, your 300 GSM cards, and that fabulous ribbon are going to be in your kit. Here's another. Using the same basic technique, I did one little thing differently here and changed the orientation to make this an up and down folder. Isn't that pretty? You won't believe how easy these cards are for something that is so stunning. You are going to be amazed when we do this. And doesn't that satiny ribbon really show these off pretty? Three. Here's our fourth. This set also comes with a beautiful set of stamps. We'll be stamping this image, matting it to our, um, using our masking technique to put on the bow. We'll fancy up those snowflakes in the snowflake wreath with some gems. We'll fancy up our background paper with some gems. How beautiful is that? You're welcome, Mary R. I'm loving this kit for tomorrow, I just got to say, guys. So let me show you what's in the first kit. Then I'm going to show you something else. So here's your dies. You get two beautiful snowflake dies in this kit. You get a stencil. Now you are going to use this stencil over and over and over and over and over again because this is such a versatile style we're going to use it to make snowflakes but you can also use this in so many different ways for making texture on your paper and creating beautiful stenciled and pasted images gorgeous here's your embossing folder it comes right in your kit. Look at these stamps. Of course, I've got my, my little mask all made. Well, I don't have to make it again tomorrow. There's my little bow mask. We'll peel that off so you can see the stamps underneath. You get this gorgeous snowflake wreath. You get this snowflake starburst. You get this. I don't know. I kind of already stole my own word. You kind of get this little snowflake starburst. You get, what's that say? Um, Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in a beautiful script font. You get this smaller snowflake. You get a Merry Christmas die, which is just perfect. It's just the perfect size. That little Merry Christmas right there in the beautiful script font. You get this larger snowflake. You get this bow. You get this beautiful Christmas flower. This is gorgeous, and they give you a leaf to go with it so you could create your own wreaths and designs using that just that little flower in this leaf. You get 
this snowflake, which is really way more detailed than the other two. The other two are kind of a wrought iron snowflake. This is more like a filigree kind of snowflake. And then this one says at the top, have a holly jolly Christmas and happy new year. That is a rich stamp set. That is a big, beautiful stamp set by itself. And it stamps really, really nicely. So look at the freebies. They're not freebies. We all know that. I say that but because I'm just quoting the magazines. But we know they're not free. The magazine prices go up depending on what they put in them. But look at what you get in this one. Add-ins, yeah, add-ins is a better, that's, that's Bryce's words. Add-ins are a much better word than freebies. Now this paper pack, take this with a grain of salt because I already tore mine up and made all these cards you're seeing. But look at these beautiful papers they're including. Hi, Catherine. This beautiful paper has Christmas trees on it. And on the back, we have that beautiful red that you've already seen. I don't need to put this back in my kit because I might need it. You get two of each of these, too. You get all these cutouts if you'd rather make cutouts than stamp. You get that pretty blue on the back of those in case you don't want to use them as cutouts. This one's white on the back. You get this blue paper with a fabulous gray, kind of mottled gray on the back. I love this paper. This is one of my faves. Look at that. And then they duplicate the whole thing. You get a whole another pack of paper. You are going to make so many cards. Look at that follow a lot of paper this time. And it's got that gorgeous gray on the back, that blue gray. And then this has got that steely gray blue and more. Jo this one features joy, more cutouts, more cutouts. Here's a wreath. I mean, if you really, really don't want to stamp, you could do it out of the, you could do it on the magazine. Here's the magazine itself. Now all these magazines feature two or three or four pages. This almost the entire magazine is dedicated to the, what they've put in this set. So almost all of the pages, not every page, but almost all of the pages are ideas for this set. So what I'm giving you in our kit for the things that I've made is just the beginnings, guys. There are so many things that you're going to make out of this kit if you use it well. This is it. This is called Chloe's Creative Cards Collection, and I'm telling you, I'm pretty impressed with Chloe. I gotta say, I gotta put my mask back on where I had it so that class tomorrow, I don't have to remake that. <laughs> Here's our papers. More papers. We'll move those over. Okay, now it's time to take a look at our second kit. Oh, by the way, in your kit, in addition to the magazine. You're going to get beautiful satin ribbon. You're going to get a sponge, uh, an applicator sponge. You're getting a full sheet of gems. You're getting a half sheet of squares. You're getting lots of um, mirror board. You're getting all your card bases, obviously. Now, oh, and you guys are getting, I didn't get them in mind because I already had them. You're getting a... You're getting two stamp pads. You're getting one called um, Smoked Paprika, and you're getting another one called Thundercloud that we'll be using on our, on our project. So that's in the base kit. This is just the basic kit, guys. Now, for those of you who want to take it up a notch, I'm also offering an extension kit. This, you have to have the first kit in order to do the second, but I'm enclosing in the second kit a full jar of this Moonstone Nouveau paste, the white glittery kind. This is what it does. Now we're using it on gray paper, but this is Moonstone paste, this dry on white cardstock. 
and you're getting a bottle of dream drops from nouveau this is a 5.99 bottle of drops and this is the color is called cloud which is white iridescent you can see it there in the camera view that even the paste in the jar or the drops in the jar are very iridescent dream drops um you're getting the card bases the mirror board um the um card stock for stamping and embossing and then the jars of paste in your second kit this one is priced at, at 16.95 i believe for the add-on kit well these two by themselves are 14 dollars. so for 2.95 you're getting all the rest of the components in the kit <laughs> and we're going to make this one now i want to show you how this one is different look at the dream drops on the snowflakes see that isn't that spectacular you can see them on the silver and you can see them on the snowflake embossed design how beautiful is that beautiful 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 one of the most elegant kits i think i've done look at this one where we're using the moonstone paste on the blue. It's funny how that gives that kind of a blue-green cast in the moonstone drops, but see how those drops, we're going to use a technique where we put the paste through a stencil. How gorgeous is that? How are dream drops different than stickles? Stickles, um, dream drops are highly pearlescent and stickles. Um, there are some stickles that are pearlescent, but dream drops. Um, here's my bottle of stickles. Let's see, I have one here. Here's my bottle of stickles. Here's my bottle of dream drops. So stickles has about, this is 18 milliliters. This is 40 some. Oh, 40 milliliters. So while it costs a little bit more, you're getting a lot of product. And good night, Catherine. It's nice of you to stop by and see us. And it's just absolutely spectacular. So again, one's a Nouveau product, one's a Ranger product. That's another way they're different, but it's a pearlescent. So there we go. That's tomorrow's class. Wowzer, I had fun putting this together. I always know it's going to be a good kit when I have to make myself stop. I made, you know, I always say this, I'm going to make more cards and then, you know, that's my excuse for doing it. I'm going to make some extra cards and then we'll pick the best ones. But sometimes they're all the best ones. <laughs> so I have to make kit add-ons and do that kind of stuff. But what fun we are going to have, my friends, tomorrow when we do our when we do our Chloe's kit. It's going to be a blast. So this is really, really fun. And that's for tomorrow. And on Saturday, we're going to do what would have been last Saturday. Had I not decided that I was just not up to it for the first time, 160, 170 episodes, the very first time I decided I just couldn't do it. But these are what we're going to do on Saturday. Here's our beautiful cards cut out using our tattered lace dies. Gorgeous. We're going to use... Um, our peel stickers to surround. We're going to use pre-printed papers to do our backings. We're going to use everybody gets in this kit. What did I do with them? I had them out here a second ago. There they are. Everybody gets one of my, I told you I really love these. Everybody gets a set of these snips free in their kit. There's no charge for these. You're getting them free in your kit. It's considered as a part of the retail value of the kit, but there's no charge at all for these in your kit. So we're going to do this one. 
we're going to do this one. This has got velveteen paper behind it or velvet paper. It's got that blaze, red blaze, velvet paper. We're going to round out these flower blossoms, blossoms on our top level, kind of rounding them out to give it even more dimension. You get your little happy birthday stickers in your kit. You get the butterfly dies. In fact, this is your die. You get tattered lace says this die alone is worth 19 pounds, 99 pence. In today's dollars with exchange, that's 26 or so dollars for this die set, die set, because there's three of them there. You get the embossing folder that we've used to do this foil paper. This is in Saturday's kit. So once you figure out that you, excuse me? Okay. Once you figure out that you get to, you know, keep, figure out the value when you keep the embossing folder you keep the dies and keep reusing that and of course tattered lace is also including they don't all do this but tattered lace also has downloadable papers where you can kind of recharge your paper supply anytime you want to it's really a fabulous value the techniques I show you tomorrow could be used on this embossing folder on after Saturday. So keep that. I'll just tease you with that. This comes with a bunch of papers already pre-printed. Just a bunch of beautiful papers that they're giving you already in this magazine. And of course, you get the Tattered Lace magazine with all their ideas. So... Anyway, this is going to be great fun. This is coming up on Saturday. You get black velvet paper. You get red velvet paper. You get borders. You get happy birthday stickers. You get, I printed two papers off the download for you. You get foam squares. You get mirror board. You get the idea. You pretty much get everything. And this is coming up on Saturday. Grab your kits, guys. Don't miss these. And Chloe's, I only have... I don't know what my remaining number is now. I didn't look at it, but I'm going to say there's maybe 15 of those Chloe's left out there. Grab those. Grab those. Really, really good. Really good. And in this one, you get my little scissors. I love these little snips. I'm telling you, it's just, it's, I laughed, but Margie had a pair of these. I laughed at Margie when she took them out. I said, what is that? And Bryce laughed at me when he saw me with these he said that is just the silliest thing i've ever seen when you get in and you're trying to snip apart all these little flowers i'm telling you that getting in there with a little pair of scissors that allows you to just be able to reach all of those little areas these snips are perfect so there we go all right that's it for today. I've kept you long. Any questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom? Anything at all that I can answer for you about what we've seen today or what we have coming up over the next couple of days? Your kits, your explosion board kits will be available later tonight. Keep a watch on those. You guys will be ahead of the crowd in getting those because there aren't a lot of any of them. Like I said, I just Margie and I just cleared the shelves of all my 300 GSM paper yesterday. Yes, I like the papers. I don't have the, oh, I don't have a printer. Yeah. Okay. So you get a lot of pre-printed papers automatically in this one, Roberta, but it's nice to um, be able to recharge your paper supplies and make more of these. On the, um, on the download, they have X that they have, of course, different color combinations and stuff too than what we had in the pre printed paper. So it's nice that you can add all these different variations to the papers and things. And I think the download, I don't remember the exact number of pages, but it's like 30 or more papers in the download. It's, it's pretty remarkable. Any questions at all, 
hit that mash that like button if you haven't done it yet guys if you like what you're seeing you want me to keep it up come on give me the like i that i thrive on that and it brings us the um it br potentially brings new people into our group because that is what in part youtube uses to determine that we're a good channel so there we go all right if there are no questions comments or pearls of wisdom i'm gonna say it see you tomorrow for now good night gracie